With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this particular question, we are given that we have to find out the area of the triangle whose three sides are given to us as 17 cm, 8 cm and 15 cm. And also in the second part of this particular question, we have to calculate the length of the altitude corresponding to the largest side of the triangle. So let us first of all make up the triangle with these three sides. Okay, so let's suppose this is our triangle and this side, this, this is A, this is B and this is C. Let's suppose AB is given, let's suppose BC is given to us as 17 centimeter, AB is given to us as 8 centimeter and AC is given to us as 15 centimeter. That means among the three of them, the longest side is our base, that is BC. Okay. So first of all, we'll be calculating the area of the triangle. Now when three sides are given, we know that the area of triangle can be written as area of triangle ABC can be calculated using Heron's formula because when three sides are given, there is only one method to calculate the area of the triangle using the Heron's formula, right? So the Heron's formula says, according to the Heron's formula, it says that the area will be equal to the under root of under root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where s is the semi perimeter of the triangle that is s is the semi perimeter of the triangle perimeter okay right and a b and c are the respective sides so let's suppose this 8 centimeter is a this 17 centimeter is b and this 15 centimeter is C. So A, B and C are the respective sides of the triangle and S is the semi perimeter of the triangle. So first of all, we'll be finding out this semi perimeter of the triangle that is S. So S will be equal to, we know that the perimeter of the triangle is sum of all sides. So semi perimeter will be sum of all sides divided by 2. So this will be equal to nothing but A plus B plus C divided by 2, right? So this will be equal to 8 plus 17 plus 15 divide by 2 that will come out to be equals to 40 divided by 2 or it will be equals to 20 and the units will be in centimeters because the perimeter is in centimeter so it will be 20 centimeters now we'll be finding out the area so to find out the area we'll place the values of s a b and c in the heron's formula so this will be equals to the area will come out to be equals to under root of 20 into because s into s minus a that is 20 into 20 minus the first side is the first side is 8 so 20 into 20 minus 8 multiplied by 20 minus 17 because the second side is 17 centimeter and the third side is 15 so 20 minus 15 centimeter okay if we calculate this further or simplify this this will come out to be equals to under root of under root of 20 multiplied by 20 minus 8 that is 12 this will be 12 multiplied by 20 minus 17 that is 3 multiplied by 20 minus 15 that is 5 okay now if we split up the values of 20 and 12 this will be equals to this will be equal to we can write this 20 as 2 into 2 into 5 right because this will be 5 into 2 10 into 2 20 so we can write this 20 as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 and this 12 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, right? Because this will be 3 into 2 will be 6 and 6 into 2 will be 12. So this 12 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 and this 3 and 5 will be as it is. This 3 and 5 will be multiplied as it is. Now we can see that if we pair them up, if we pair the values of 2, 3 and 5, this will be equals to under root of, we have one pair of 2 over here. This will be 2 into 2. Other pair of 2 is this. So this will be 2 into 2. Then we have one pair of three, that is this one. So this will be three into three. And we have one pair of five, that is this one, five into five. Okay. So we have one pair of two, one pair of two again. Then we have one pair of three and one pair of five. So if we take these pair outside, they will become one. So this will be two multiplied by two multiplied by three multiplied by five. Right. If the pairs are taken outside of the root, then the pairs become these individuals. So this will be two multiplied by two. That is for these two pairs multiplied by three for this pair and multiplied by five for this pair. 
so this will be equal to 60 centimeter square so the area has come out to be equal to 60 centimeter square now it was given in the question that we need to find out the length of the altitude corresponding to the largest side so in this particular case of the triangle the largest side is the bc because it is 17 centimeter so we need to find out the altitude corresponding to this side that is we need to find out the value of let's suppose this point is d so we need to find out the value of ad okay because the corresponding altitude to the largest side is ad because the largest side is 17 centimeter so the corresponding altitude will be ad so we need to find out the value of ad now we also know that the area of the triangle can be written as the area of this triangle abc can also be written as half into base into height half into base into height right and we need to find out the value of height and we are given the base that was the largest side and we just now calculated the area that is 60 centimeter so let's suppose the area is 60 this will be equals to 1 by 2 into base is 17 and into height is ad the side ad okay if we simplify this this 2 will go to the right left hand side so this will be 60 multiplied by 2 and if this 17 goes to the left hand side this will be in division so this will be 60 multiplied by 2 divided by 17 so this will be equals to ad okay so this will come out to be equals to 60 into 2 that is 120 divided by 17 this will be equals to ad so the side ad will be equal to so the side ad will come out to be equal to if we divide this up this will be equals to somewhere around 7.06 centimeters that means the altitude of the triangle in accordance to the largest side or the longest side is 7.06 centimeter and the area of this particular triangle is 60 centimeter square so we have taken out both of the parts that is the area this is 60 centimeter square and the longest side altitude that is the altitude corresponding to the largest side is 7.06 centimeters so this is our answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.